everything new under the sun. Reading from 1 Timothy chapter 2, the first um, paragraph of it describes um, that uh, God is in control and he puts kings and leaders in authority for a purpose and a reason. Sometimes that's to bless, sometimes that's to judge or to bring uh, wrath or correction on the people. You need to be very careful about what you understand that your leader is in place for. Let's read the scriptures. I urge then, first of all, that petitions, prayers, intercession, and thanksgiving be made for all people. This is what we should be doing. Praying for, uh, intercessing, and giving thanks um, uh, for all people, for kings and all those in authority, that we may live peaceful and quiet lives in all godliness and holiness. This is good and pleases God our Savior, who wants all people to be saved and to come to a knowledge of the truth. If you're live, if you're fighting all the time, you're not going to be able to sh share the truth of Jesus Christ. And I'm preaching to myself there. You need to live peaceably and love others, and through that kindness and love and gentleness, people will recognize that your life is somehow different. It says, For there is one God and one mediator between God and mankind, the man Christ Jesus, who gave himself as a ransom for all people. This has now been witnessed to at the proper time, and for this purpose I was appointed a herald and apostle. I am telling the truth, I am not lying, and a true and faithful teacher of the Gentiles. Another section in scriptures where it speaks about God uh, putting um, leaders in place that we are to pray for, <clears throat> thank the Lord for even, and uh, intercess for. Uh, this is Jan Daniel chapter 2. And uh, this is uh, talking about Daniel and uh, Nebuchadnezzar's uh, dream that he was, he asked God to reveal to him and interpret. And it says here, Daniel answered and said, uh, verse 20. Blessed be the name of God forever and ever, for wisdom and might are his. And he changes the times and seasons. So God, he removes kings and raises up kings. So God himself removes leaders, removes prime ministers, removes presidents. But he also puts them in place. That means he must have put Trudeau, Prime Minister Trudeau, in place in Canada for a time and a season. That means he put President Biden in place for a time and season. Now, maybe that maybe that reason was to wake us up, to make us feel a bit of pain so that we would recognize, oh, this is the direction we need to go. But is it all good for Trump? Is uh, Trump a Christ follower? I don't know. That That's uh, for him to declare himself and uh, for the Lord to know. Is he going to lead the country in a good, godly manner? I don't know. That's another question. But God is raising up Trump as well for a purpose and a reason. Is it for a blessing on the nation or for wrath or for something else? It says, God removes kings and raises up kings. He gives wisdom to the wise and knowledge to those who have understanding. By the, wi by the way, you are wise if you ask for wisdom. So he is giving people wisdom if they are wise to ask for wisdom. I believe that's one of the best things you can ask for, wisdom. And knowledge to those who have understanding, it says. He reveals deep and secret things. He knows what is in the darkness, and light dwells with him. I thank you and praise you. This is how Daniel is ending it. O God of my fathers, uh, praise and thanking the Lord Jesus Christ himself in his prayer. You have given me wisdom and might, and have now made known to me what we asked of you. So this is God answering prayer. This is Daniel thanking God for the answered prayer of revealing the dream. For you have made known to us the king's demand. So, you know, a supernatural uh, uh, vision or understanding was given to Daniel about the king's dream. And he was able to do big things and tell the king um, this dream. But the main point is, God changes seasons. He removes kings and he raises them up. But it doesn't say why. Is it always good for a good reason? Sometimes it's for wrath. Sometimes it's to bring correction on the nation. Beware. We don't always know God's plan and how it's going to play out. This is why you just need to follow God, have faith in the Lord, live your own life, live peaceably. You don't know how it's going to go with the economy. 
And boy, the economic news does not look good. Um, yes, Trump, Trump is good for uh, the markets, uh, the free market generally. Um, but on the other hand, the other side really hates him. And there's uh, bomb threats on various people, uh, on all the people he's appointed so far or, or uh, um, set up for appointment. And uh, there's going to be chaos. I think there's going to be a lot of violence. Remember the whole BLM riot thing that happened during Trump's presidency the first time. Because the left is going to go nuts and they're going to riot in, in the uh, democratic cities. You need to be prepared. Uh, again, because the right leader does not, uh, or, a, or a good leader even, does not automatically mean an easy life. Now, we are always blessed by God abundantly. Most things we take for granted. But that doesn't mean our life is easy. And uh, when he brings leaders in, sometimes things have to get hard for a little while. So I suspect things will be hard over the next few years. We'll see how it goes. Stay in the word. Stay praying. Ask God for big things. He's a big God. Um, don't think that anything is too big or too small for God. He wants to have communion with you. Talk to you. He wants to know your heart. He wants. He knows your heart. He wants you to tell him your heart so that you can have a friendship, a relationship with him. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.